Katie. Welcome back to my channel. And in my channel, I teach you on how to use the tools that I personally use as well to create graphic design projects. Today, I'm going to share with you how I create GIF files using SL.com. It's really quick and easy, and I'm sure you can do so as well when you try it at home. If you don't have an ESL account yet, you can sign up for an account and get an automatic upgrade for the Plus plan for one month like what you are looking at here at your screen right now um, you can go and create an account using this link bit.ly forward slash try so now I'm gonna link that in the description box below so you can just click it and create your account so you can try to create a GIF file as well using this tool for today's lesson I'm going to teach you on how to create a GIF file using sl.com and we will be using the facebook post size document all right so we'll just have to click here where you see on top of your screen where it says create new design all right and all the templates that have a facebook post size will appear and so i'm just going to type new so we can take a look at all the templates that have new or that have a new year's theme in it so if you may have noticed there are some templates that have a star in it those are some templates that we cannot use because we are only on the plus plan the templates with star that you see right on your screen right now are the templates that are available only for edge subscribers now if you want to subscribe for the edge subscription then you can do so so you can take advantage of the amazing and super super nice templates that are available on the SO website. So let me try to remove year. So everything that has new in it will appear. Okay, I think I like this one, the one with glitter something component. So we'll click it. And as you can see, we have a one picture. We have one picture for this project. And a tip that I can give you if you will create a GIF file is to decide how many iterations or how many um, or how long your GIF file will be and what you can do is to just to duplicate all and then what you can do is to duplicate the layers Okay, let's go back. And now we have our chosen template. And if you want to use this as your template for your project, then you decide how long you want your GIF to be. And for this example, I think I want this to be around 10 to 15 seconds. I estimated I need to have around 10 copies of this so i'm just gonna duplicate it until i have 10 iterations let's see i have eight already and then 10 and then what i'm going to do is i will not be editing any of the text anymore but of course you can do so if you want to tailor fit it so you can use it but what i'm going to do is just change some of the colors I can also change the background color if I decide to. So let's say we want this and then we change the background. To change the background, you just have to click on the area and then choose a different color. Okay. And then choose again. Okay. That looks good enough and then choose again so just you just have to do all the things repeatedly
also opt to change this or to i think this is a picture this is not letters or yeah it's letters so we can what i want to do here is to remove glitter delete it okay so it blinks now you can opt to have each letter blink but here i just chose to remove the word so that um, actually in the interest of time i think i did incorrectly the seventh one should have the word glitter because the sixth okay one does have the word and then two so every even number should not have the word glitter in it okay all right and then the last one okay so i think we're ready okay so i'm done with the settings that i want and all the blinking effects that i want so now it's time to download our file make sure you click on download on the upper right hand corner of your screen and then left click on gif do not choose png or jpeg because if you use any of these two then your blinking effect will not um show up so click gif and then choose the speed either slow medium or fast for this tutorial i'm gonna choose fast and then click download gif and it will go to your downloads folder now i'm going to open my facebook account so that i we can test if it's working because if i open the file that will be downloaded then it's gonna show just the photos a series of photos and it will not show us how the project looks like okay there you go let me try to search for it it's here so test gif file for tutorial all right and click share and then let's see and voila here's our finished project i actually stopped recording because i had some visitors over so you can see it has been an hour since i posted it and um if you have any questions feel free to let me know if you missed any of the steps please comment down down below or if you have any suggestions on what topics i should discuss in the future please comment <laughs> all right or leave me a message in any of my social media accounts and i'll be here to help you out thank you so much again for tuning in and thank you for subscribing to my channel if you haven't already please subscribe i would really appreciate it you have a great day everyone bye bye before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow.